My name is James Reimer, and uh, I'm currently based at the University of the Ryukyus in Okinawa, Japan. Together with Rob Tunin at the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology, um, we're looking for papers related to the restoration of coral reefs, and specifically uh, zooxanthellate shallow water coral reefs in subtropical and tropical areas. But I think coral reef restoration is one of those fields that's um, going to be incredibly important going forward. Um, as we all know, coral reefs are being impacted by climate change and anthropogenic impacts more and more increasingly every year. And um, I think even if coral reef restoration is still sort of a, a new or forming field with a lot of different theories out there, um, all of this basic research that we do now is really going to um, help us going forward. And so um, we basically need to investigate all sorts of different fields uh, related to coral reef restoration. So I'm in Okinawa, southern Japan, and uh, there's been a sort of a restoration effort ongoing here for about 20 years involving uh, the local fishing union as well as the prefectural government. And so in the last five years, I've been participating in that and uh, really sort of getting a hands-on feel for some of the more interesting aspects as well as some of the difficulties in restoration. And uh, together with Rob, when we started thinking about, you know, what sort of special issues could we, could we discuss or come up with, um, we realized there really wasn't a special issue out there dedicated to restoration. And so we thought this would be a timely call. And uh, thus far, it's proven so. I mean, we've had a lot of submissions and a lot of inquiries, and uh, I think the response has been great. Until now, you know, we've had a really wide range of submissions. Um, but I guess when we sort of envisioned this call, I mean, at least myself personally, um, you know, we're really hoping for a wide swath of papers related to coral reef restoration. So anything from AI and image training to analyses of, of how reefs are doing now, to new transplantation techniques, to examining the genetics and the genomics of transplanted or assisted evolution corals. Um, and then I think there are some, there's probably room for a lot of sort of more area specific issues. I know the Caribbean is quite advanced in their coral reef restoration compared to say the Indo-Pacific. Um, for ourselves personally in Okinawa, we have to deal a lot with typhoons. So it's not just actually the process of restoring the reef, but actually ensuring that these restored corals are going to survive you know, 12 meter waves. So I think there's room for sort of biomechanical or bioengineering aspects, as well as the usual ecology or genomic genetic aspects as well. So um, anything related to coral reef restoration would be welcome and we'll give it a serious look, definitely. It would be nice, I think, to get a few more submissions from sort of uh, countries that are being heavily impacted by, by global warming that really haven't um, had a lot of research done in them yet. I know there have been a lot of active restoration projects in the Philippines and in Indonesia, and I think we do have one or two submissions from that area. But given the amount of biodiversity on the coral reefs in those areas and the importance of those reefs to a lot, to millions and millions of people, it would be nice to get a few more submissions from, say, the Central Indo-Pacific or some of the Pacific Islands, etc. Um, because I know, you know, um, through colleagues and through friends, there's a lot of great restoration work going on in a lot of these places. And, um, you know, I can guarantee that anything that's submitted will get a fair review from Rob and myself and, and the reviewers, and we'd really love to see your research. In, in conclusion, uh, Myself and Rob Tunin, we'd really, really be happy to see any and all of your submissions related to coral reef restoration uh, before the deadline. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, or if you're uncertain if your paper fits the, the call for papers, contact us at any point in time. Um, I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And I really look forward to reading your papers and new science. Thank you very much.